So between MCC1 and MCC2, there were like a two month break between December and January. Maybe, possibly, the event will come back later this month. Hello, hello, this is Stu Shapo in real life this time, and welcome back to Beyond the Dome. So, we are still waiting patiently for MCC's return announcement. They just came back from their holidays and they just released a brand new bedrock map, so it will take some time to, you know, work on MCC and such. But hey, looking over that, tonight we are looking at the ever changing game of Swallow Games with the coins, controversial coin changes, and the meta behind it. And also, we will be looking back at one of the viewer teams in MCC Pass as well. But before that, here are some MCC news. So, first and foremost, a regular CPK Shatter S Major 1995 give a little bit of an info of when the next MCC is, saying that he would not expect MCC to come in about a month or two or whatever, depending on the tease. Furthermore, there's even more discussion on the MCC Twitter account, so yeah, there's a bunch of madness there. Also, Noctru released their new map called Love Pets with like cute dogs and cats and whatever more you can do. If you want to play this map and support Noctru for their contribution towards the Minecraft community in MCC, in Bedrock Marketplace and whatever, please go to Minecraft. Minecraft Bedrock Marketplace. And yeah. Finally though, sad to say, Raul and Juliet is going to quit Noxcrew in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, well she, she quit in a, in a good terms of course. She'll be leaving the Noxcrew in the next couple of weeks. So wish her the best of luck and hopefully Noctis could, you know, take over the Twitter and of course stay that chaos all the way. And that's all the news. Oh uh, wait, hold on. Uh, there's one more news though during the editing here. There's this Ace Race map or something. Yeah, I think I think it has been long with you. But yeah, that's the tease and that's all the news. So of course, with no events in this month or so, this week is pretty much a solo news week except for those three. So, so during MCC nineteen. Noxru fulfilled their own promise, their own dream, of an exciting Survival Games fun finale. I got the script there. <laughs> In which Cerulean Candy Canes smashed that game pretty hard. They also snatched that dodgeball spot as well from good old, what, Ren Red Deer, the people who are very, very much a pro and very much a strong team in that event. But as you know, Suave Games itself has controversies regarding to the coins awarded, as well as many more. So, let us take a look back at what we are and what we came up to this point. Quick, quick on the border, quick on the border, he's in a web, he's in a web! Get him, get him! Shoot him, shoot him! Nice, nice again, just shoot him again. No! That's second! That's second place! Let's go! Let's start off with a question. What really? is survival games. Well, like the movie Hunger Games, the goal is to be the last man standing. In MCC case, it is the last team standing. And how do you be the last man standing or last team standing? Well, you have to do the following. <laughs> Joey, if you need me to turn around, scream at me. <laughs> I'm jump really. Okay, okay she's got lava. I can't go. No! Yes, no. Pete! 1 no. HP! GG! Oh, <laughs> Who even needs him? Since MCC1, Survival Games has been a staple of MC Shamanship, shipping some of the best moments in the event. I'm fine with you not being excited to see me. As long as I get to see you. <laughs> Throughout the event, there were so many changes as well as scoring changes in the game, shifting the meta from one to the other. In the first couple of MCCs, Survival Games is a simple game with coins rewarded for survival, kills, and wins. Yes, it, it is simple as like that. With the kill coins being 60 unmultiplied coins, this encourages players to not only survive, but to kill other players as well. 
but that is not too prominent as some teams may choose to not engage in any fights whatsoever towards the end. For the survival coins that they could potentially get, which is 10 per survival unmultiplied, so they might rely on survival, yes, yes, yes. At the end of the day, that seems like a perfect balance. 60 for kills, 10 for survival, and 150 for team win. Yeah, uh, I would say so, but again, this happened. And got him killed. Nice. Yep. Oh. Man, man. He's dead. He's won it! Kill us on it! He's dead! I'm gonna get another one. He's dead. He doesn't even know I'm here. Get him. He's dead. Get him. Got a shot on him. Got a shot on him. Killed him. Nice. He's low. <laughs> nice. I'm s missing. I've got 20 killed Scott. Look, he's down. Hey, Tommy. Dead! Let's, Let's go! go! Look how many coins he got! Yep. Too many kills and all four players survived. This is what we call an extraordinary game. So in attempt to encourage more kills and engagement, kill coins were boosted to 100 coins with 8 coins for survival. But with that came with some costs. Back is dead. He got me. I killed Dream, I killed Dream! Hey, George, is, George is alive, kill George, George is the last one. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys got this. I, am, I, am, I, am. I got George, I got George, I got George. Okay, good, good shit, good shit. Yo, they go gear, they go gear, they go gear. The game is now a swing game for some teams, as they really needed the coins to get to the final dodge spot. Although it does not affect MCC 14 much, but for MCC 15, with Dream and Sapnap's aggressive plays, they earn a ton of coins just from this one game. We fucking no, 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 no. fucking go! Let's fucking go! So what now? Well, the meta was shifted to focus more on aggressive play, but again, the coins dispensed were quote unquote disgusting to some people. But meta was then to be shifted again in MCC 17 with the introduction of, mm, you guess it, team placements coins. Instead of the game being focused on aggressive play, the game itself is shifted towards survival with the survival coins being drastically reduced as well as the kill coins themselves to 35 coins. Oh boy, the reddit was very mad at this one as kills in SG are worth much less than ones in Sky Battle which is a 3 round game. Yeah, that's the comparison, yeah. But thinking about it, there were no team placement coins in Sky Battle so... Uh... With those changes, even though MCC 17's Orange Ocelots won the entire game, but due to the coins changes, Pink Parrots came first with the combination of both aggressive and passive play, with the strats of picking fights when needed and making sure that everybody is alive, which is what we have in MCC 9 of course. So the Q coins were nerfed in that event. So for the Rising event, the Q coins were boosted again to 80 coins with some decrease in survival coins as well as some increase in team placements coins. Well, now the Q coins were buffed, aggressive play is now back in place, with the Manhunt Cyan Coyotes dominating the game with more than two times the amount of coins of second place. One of each team! One of each team! Let's go on pink, 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 pink! Let's go! We got this! That's what happened! Let's go! That's what happened! That's what happened! Yeah, this looks familiar, isn't it? Hmm, yeah. To fix this issue, a brand new mechanic was introduced. Well, basing off an old mechanic, of course. Concert drops. In which you break them, you will get a huge amount of coins. With that, kill coins were also reduced back to 35 with more coins for team placements. And of course, the rate it went off again. Yep, yep, it, it, it is gonna happen. You know, kill coins is, a, yeah. This change encourages more fights around the airdrops when it comes to contesting them. But some teams might not want to do it as it is indeed a risk of losing team members solely because they are contesting an airdrop. Back in the main event though, this change also affected a dominant 9th place team a lot, making Captain finishing in 3rd again as the team focuses on survival rather than kills, meaning that kills are worthless. Oh. No! Oh. Oh, so close. You've gotta be God. kidding me! So the kill coins were buffed again, with team placements coins and coin crates 
been reduced to accommodate those changes. And since Mr. Fruitberries is back on the event for MCC19, a very tremendous performance for survival game happened again, with almost all four players survived until the end, as was kills left, right, and center. They're hiding in the bathroom. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, my bad. Just shot us down. I killed them, I killed them. If anyone, if anyone has arrows, let me... I killed two. Be careful. Nice, nice, nice. TNT's here. Kill one. I got the airdrop, I got the airdrop. So, the question true is, is survival game's meta changed throughout the event? The answer is, not really. With the airdrops, surviving was still a thing that some people may focus. Although some competitors like Dream or Sapnap have that aggressive approach to the game, but the main key here is survival, and not pick fights when the opposing team is overgeared than yours. All in all, the winners of each game did a good job at trying to maximize their skills and potential in the game itself. The old system may be superior since the coins were focused on kills in a not that powerful way, while also valuing the survival time as well. But on the other side, the new system may value incentives to eliminate more players via airdrops as well as trying to target the weaker teams, but oh no! game is in a weird situation. Will it value more aggressive plays and earn a disgusting amount of coins? Or will it value teamwork and earn a disgusting amount of coins? Or maybe none of those two? We might have to go back to square one here for survival games. And of course, hopefully, there's no more of those controversies or no more little to no red threats from it. Yeah, I wouldn't see fan arts again or like, you know, good old memes. Please, 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 please step back. But before we move on though, if you want to get involved or be featured in the MCC live show Behind the Dome shenanigans, you can follow us on Twitter. You can get involved by tagging us tweets at MCC live show or use the hashtag Behind the Dome. Maybe and possibly, <laughs> your tweets will come on screen and we can discuss our uh, things in front of you guys. And be featured, of course, as a little, a little of a small shout out. Yeah. So, now, in MCC 10, a key part of the event, a key main feature that distinguishes the event is the viewer teams. So, two of the 10, ten teams. Purple Pandas and Pink Parrots were filled by viewer teams with thousands of applications. Well, we are going to take a look at one of them today. Here is a good old, they are still, they're still very active as well, this team. MCC 10's Purple Pandas. I'm up here with all these people. They're very nice up here. Up, oh, it's going. It's time to go. <laughs> Becca, where are you? Becca. Pod squad win. For those who are out of the loop, MC Championship 10 is a very special MCC. Well, not non canon, but a cool one, I would say. There were some debuts, including a guest who doesn't have a resource pack turned on in the event. Pokemon, have you been playing with the server textures? Couple no, but with... I didn't want to talk about it. Yeah. Wait, you what haven't been using fuck? the textures? What the hell? Yeah. And two viewer teams, Purple Pandas and Pink Parrots. We're just, just gamers, do what gamers do. One of those teams, Purple Pandas, who had said in their application video that they don't have a team name yet, consists of content creators, Vapekit, Contus, It's Just Oriya, and Yi Daisy. In the event, they did decently well, with them finishing in 8th as a team with some wins left and right. Which is a good solid placement indeed for finishing 8th for a full team of new people. But what happened after the event? After MCC, the team went straight back to their content creation, with SMPs popping off left and right. They also collaborated together as well in various streams, videos, and tweets like this. Minecraft hit IRL. <coughs> he dead, fall over or something. <laughs> as well as that, the team also participated in a small Minecraft tournament, Champions of the Universe, in purple lilacs for Olaya and Yi Daisy, with McCoy joining them in the team. As well as Contest joining Lime Lilypads and Vapekit, joining Pink Peonies. 
or I'll just say you know that the event didn't happen so yeah however despite the success there were some rebrandings or some of the creators in the event for this team with WebKit being renamed to uh the anime face Corbin I mean I I should not give you the satisfaction of pronouncing that right yeah fine Ooh, Corbin and contest renaming her channel to Capel or Anne Capel on Twitch. Their content creation was smooth sailing for both them until one of them dropped content creation altogether. My Perdonas, since my Sayado, take people Perdon de la Unica Forma, que se abrindo las puertas de mi corazón para cuando decidas volver, yo solo quiero tu amistad. And Capel stopped content creation that was surrounded by funny moments and such around March 2021 and started doing behind the scenes stuff in terms of editing and design. Corbin then stopped streaming due to mental and physical health issues on August 9th, 2021 with a final goodbye stream on that date. But then he returned to stream a bit occasionally after then so yeah he's still quite semi-active on Twitter but hey who knows what's to come from him. Moving back though, Becca or Yi Daisy and Oriya were still very active in terms of content creation on Twitch and more, but the two occasionally collaborated with each other by any means. From a SHIELD anniversary stream of their MCC participation, as well as many more. They are also very active on the MCYT community as well especially with Becca being involved in the MCC community quite a bit. Speaking of MCC, with MCC Rising announced back in October, Becca and Oriya also applied for a spot in the event as well, with Oriya's boyfriend now Vester and Sof Ayams. I, I butchered that, I am so sorry, yes I'm, I am so sorry. Unfortunately, they were not chosen to be in the event, but there were some cool streams during that time, remembering the time that is their MCC10 participation. And after that, there were something in the works. Hey, you remember that Netflix show where that was like relevant like a couple months ago? Well, we have Orias and Norrester's version of it. It's the sheep game. With a hundred players across the event, including some people who you might know. We want some people to live. Green light. Can nobody die? It's like actually nerve wracking. Oh, oh god. god. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Where do we go? Uh, just hide. Hide. Oh, he did plenty of Yosh, crimes. Yosh, yo, you're, you're you oh. and me. Yosh, oh. yosh, yosh, yosh. You and me share a bunk. Oh my god. You share a bunk. Yeah. Yo. Oh my god. I'm gonna kick you in the head every night. Go for it. <laughs> you're better. Simply better. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Please no. say that. No. no. <laughs> Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Come on. Who's it gonna be? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <gasps> oh no. my god. Yeah. The event itself, of course, is very well done indeed. This team, Purple Pandas, has been one of the good teams out there in terms of chemistry and having fun together. And after the event, the team managed to be in touch in some way or the other. Despite the fact that two have stopped content creation overall, but Oriya and Yi Daisy have been enjoying their content creation since, from just streaming all the way to a full-blown Minecraft event. And of course, their stories do not stop there. And hey, we'd love to see more things from them. This is MCC 10's Purple Pandas. Please, please go and show them some love for those people and support them by any means. Alrighty, that is all from Behind the Dome. Hopefully, hopefully, just maybe, there is some news in the event in the upcoming weeks. But for now, that is all from us here in Behind the Dome. Thank you so, so much for watching. And of course, keep on watching, do share ball. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.